hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, somehow my PC is but it's a plugging mic works. I try to to talk lo uh, louder. So I think we can start at nine o'clock. So, hi Rift, it's great to see, to be here, and uh, it's ATF one hundred nine, another virtual one, hopefully one before last. Uh, we plan this to be reasonably short meeting. Everything is in motion and in process. Uh, we are going to go through not well. It's a reminder of ITF policies. By participating in the ITF, you agree to follow ITF process policies. If anything is unclear, the documents that describe how your contribution to ITF is processed and policies applicable, please go and read them if there's anything you don't know. So our agenda for today, we'll be talking about working group status and we'll have updates on applicability draft after that Tony is going to talk about what's going on in general without slides. The working group status, we have submitted base back to ISG. It's been hanging around for quite some time. Uh, Alvaro is planning to review it ASAP, so we are looking forward to that. Applicability statement draft is ready for working group last call, so we are going to start one after ATF ends. Young is ongoing work. I believe all comments have been addressed. And there's more work on multicast on segment routing. Uh, we didn't really do anything, and I believe we will start soon. So bear with us. Uh, with that, we are going to switch to the applicability statement draft and here, what's new, what's going on. Uh, I don't see the presenter. Oh, it's here. Uh, you, you're presenting, right? So please, uh, yeah. Now, yeah, great. Hello. Uh, okay, I can hear you now. Let me share the slides. Just a second. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, hello, chairs. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I have a very short introduction of the latest status of Rift Applicability Draft version 3 on behalf of all the authors. Next page, please. This is the agenda. Um, uh, I will talk about the updates since IETF 108 and the next steps. Um, the, the total draft has uh, 29 pages now, and the, the main part of the draft are chapters 2, chapter 3, and chapter 4. Um, chapter 2 is the problem statement of routing in modern IP fabric factory. <coughs> chapter 3 analyzes applicability of RIFT to cross IP fabrics. Uh, five use cases are included in chapter three. And uh, chapter four analyzes 14 aspects of Rift deployment in 14 sections. So uh, the con contents are quite stable now. Next page, please. The updates from version uh, 01 to version 0, 03 are typos and uh, abbreviation consistency check. Uh, thank Mel Melchior for 
for his comments. I think I have reflected most of corrections to the mailing list. Uh, next slide, please. So um, comments are always uh, welcome, of course. And I would like to request the working group for uh, last call. Thank you. Thank you. Tony, the mic is yours. Here I am. So sorry, I didn't make up any PowerPoint. Uh, just time pressing and just a couple of um, loose things that are going on. So people are hooked up, you know, what the community is doing. Um, so uh, we had another interrupt with Bruno. Uh, very little drama. Basically synced up newest version. He actually, with the test, he found um, a bug I introduced which um, was cute. I was basically disaggregating in a situation where disaggregation was not needed and my test didn't catch it and his test did. So that was another one-liner fix. That was pretty much the whole drama. Um, uh, the Italian University of Roma is actually building now a very large scale simulation. Well, simulation actually, you know, cloud uh, deployment of containers of Rift. I don't know how big they will go. It kind of depends how much resources they can grab. So that's going on. They had the paper. I, uh, the paper was um, contested because the scale wasn't big enough. So we'll see how far they stretch it. So there is active work there. If you're interested, um, you know, there have a lot of uh, container tools and all kinds of images, and they throw all kinds of routing stuff into complex topologies. Um, I will bring next time, and if somebody has cycles and wants something to, uh, you know, for, to be rich and famous quickly, we need a key value draft, uh, and I will be bringing that stuff next time uh, to the ITF. And the reason is that uh, we are actually working and thinking through some stuff that um, I hope we'll present next time. Uh, where we can do something pretty interesting, ZTP over Rift. And uh, to make that stuff interoperable, we will need a key value pair store on which we kind of agree how stuff is encoded to an extent. So if you're interested in a key value draft, please see me. Uh, we'll talk about it. The last thing on my plate that was going on and it was very active is um, a day one book is about to be published. Um, uh, Melchior is synchronizing that. If you don't know Melchior, he is probably on the call. Yeah, Melchior is on the call. Um, it evolved into quite an extensive list of authors and quite a fat volume. It was supposed to be something small. I think Melchior will be still glad if he got some reviewers. And, uh, you know, we, we, we're supposed to you know, publish it minus two months ago or something like that. So I'm pretty confident next idea will help this stuff. If you're not familiar with the day one, this is something, you know, a Juniper Press thing like a Cisco Press. It has also extensive uh, section written by Bruno uh, in terms of the uh, open source implementation. So that deals really with deployment and all kind of consideration on real products and open source and so on. That's kind of from my, uh, that's from my side. If any of that stuff, you know, resonated with any participants, you want to uh, uh, know more or you want to engage and get some work done um, for the day one book, it's Melchior, otherwise whatever you heard. Um, uh, engage me, and um, if you're interested in the uh, work that done in Roma, University of Roma, I can also provide you details. There's two people working on the PhDs there. That's about it. Thanks. Thanks, Tony. So if there are any comments, uh, please do speak up. Otherwise, as I said, uh, everything is in progress. Uh, so we expect more interesting stuff coming up next ATF. So Tony working on some stuff. Uh, we need to progress segment routing multicast. 
and uh, we are looking forward to seeing you next ATF and uh, we're about to give you some time back so you can do something beautiful with it. Thanks everyone and uh, we'll see you next ATF. Thanks, short and sweet, later.